three, two, one, let's go. Hey family, today is Wednesday, September 4th. My friends, another day the most I has made. I'm your brother Adam with the Watchman Adam News Channel. And family, today I got some news related to Pope Francis and the One World Religion Agenda. But first, let me say thank you for tuning back in with us today. Guys, I love you. I appreciate the support. Could you give this video a thumbs up? And also, family, if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, drop it in the comment section below, and the prayer team would be honored to pray over your prayer requests. Continue to keep me and my family in your prayers. be greatly appreciated. Now, if it's your first time to our channel, the Watson Adam News Channel, we're an end-time news channel. But our main goal and mission is to point you to our Father, the Most High God, and the finished work of His Son, Jesus, and John 3.16 says it all. For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Family, that is the definition of true love. Can I get a thank you, Jesus, for the cross? And guys, if you don't have a Bible and you live inside the United States and you need one, email me at watchingadamnews at yahoo.com and as soon as possible we'll get one out to you. And also, if any of you feel led to make a donation to our ministry, we have ways you could do so. Check the description box below. And don't forget, after today's video, to go visit the official sponsor of the Watson Adam News Channel, the Rainbow Health Company, at www.biblehillinois.com. Use my code WATSON20 and you'll save 20%. Now, to today's End Times video. Family, let's go! Okay, family, I pray you're all doing well today. I'm telling you, I got an interesting video today. Today, we will start our video by looking at a Bible verse, but family, it's very relevant to today's video, and it's one of the most important verses in the Bible, John 14, 6. Now, family, this is the words of Messiah himself. Jesus saith unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Family, as straightforward as it gets, Muhammad won't get you to the Father. Buddha won't. Joseph Smith won't. But Jesus, he is the only way to the Father. Alrighty, guys, we got a very interesting video today. We're going to be talking about Pope Francis, who's on a lot of people's false prophet watch list. And today, we're going to look at an article from Newsweek that was published yesterday, September 3rd. And this end time headline reads... Pope Francis, battling ill health, begins historic Asian odyssey. Now family, there's a lot more to this article than this headline says. This article shows you that Pope Francis is still out here pushing the Antichrist agenda, this one more religion agenda. And guys, just wait till you hear what he did on this trip. Family, this is very interesting, and it's just showing you that Pope Francis, man, there's a reason he's on a lot of people's false prophet watch list. But let's get into this. Okay, so on Tuesday, Pope Francis, he started a historic Asian tour and can be seen being wheeled out of his plane, looking pretty rough in Indonesia. Now guys, Indonesia, 83% of the population is Muslim, and this is just the beginning of Pope Francis and his One World Religion Agenda Tour. Now there's a lot of concern on whether or not Pope Francis would make it to Indonesia. The 87-year-old Pope's health is not doing so good. But family, he could be seen here in this video being greeted by two children wearing traditional clothes, being given flowers and spices. Now, family, what we're about to do is we're going to read from the article in Newsweek. And guys, trust me, stick around to the end of this video. This proves to you that he's out here pushing this Antichrist one world religion agenda when we know Jesus is the only way to heaven. So let's read right from the article. So family, the Indonesian president, Joko Widodo, welcomed the Pope saying in a broadcast statement that Indonesia and the Vatican had the same commitment to fostering peace and brotherhood as well as ensuring the welfare of humanity. Now family, listen to this next part. On Thursday, the Pope will participate in an interfaith meeting in the biggest mosque in Indonesia with representatives of the six religions that are officially recognized in Indonesia. Islam, which makes up 83% of Indonesia's population, Buddhism, Confucianism, Hinduism, Catholicism, 
And family, the last one is Protestants. Family, little side note, it's estimated 10% of Indonesia considers herself to be a Christian. Now, family, listen to this next part of the article. The mosque, the one that Pope Francis met at, is the largest in Southeast Asia. And sits opposite the capital's main Catholic cathedral, Our Lady of Assumption. Close enough that the Muslim call to prayer can be heard during Mass. Now, guys, listen to this next part. The buildings are linked by an underground tunnel of friendship, which Francis will visit with the Grand Iman before they sign a joint declaration. Now, the Grand Iman, he's not the head Muslim, and him and Pope Francis are going to sign a joint declaration. Now, this is the tunnel of friendship they were talking about. And this underground tunnel links a mosque to a Catholic church. And I guess Pope Francis got wheeled through it in his wheelchair. But family, let's get back to this article. This is interesting. They're saying thousands are expected to attend Francis' events this week, which include a mass on Thursday afternoon. At Jakarta's main stadium, expected to draw some 60,000 people. Wow. And family, that's in the capital of Indonesia. One Catholic lady was quoted as saying, It's a joy for our country, especially for us Catholics, said Elizabeth Danamek, a 50-year-old housewife, outside a packed mass on Sunday at Our Lady of Assumption. And family, listen to this last quote from her. It's that interfaith dialogue. And I'll quote, Hopefully the Pope's visit can build religious tolerance in our beloved country of Indonesia. So family, Pope Francis in bad health has started an Asian and Middle East tour where he's going to majority Muslim nations and pushing the interfaith dialogue. Pope Francis actually went to the largest mosque in Indonesia and they had an interfaith meeting. Pope Francis said Wednesday, interreligious ties must be strengthened to fight extremism and intolerance. And he said that as he kicked off his Asia-Pacific tour with a stop in Muslim-majority Indonesia. We've already talked about that. But family, this man is going on this tour trying to get all religions to come together and work together, worship together, and family, it just don't work that way. We keep on seeing this coexist be pushed on us, this one world religion. They even say they have their own ways to God. Everybody has their own separate ways to the Most High. When we know that's a lie, Jesus is the only way to the Father. And family, this one world religion crap is being pushed by Pope Francis, who is one of the most known religious people in the entire world. And family, remember, it was religious people that killed Jesus. Now guys, Pope Francis and the entire agenda he's pushing is antichrist in nature. And family, a lot of people believe he may be the false prophet. If he's not the false prophet, maybe he's paving the way for the false prophet. The man's 87 years old and his health is deteriorating really fast. But you can see the agenda he's pushing is antichrist in nature and trying to get all these religions to come together and worship together. Wow. I mean, tell me if I'm right or wrong about this, but don't Catholics believe that the Pope is supposed to be a representation of Jesus on earth? Am I wrong about that? But don't they believe that? So Jesus said himself that he's the only way to the Father. Why would the Pope be holding interfaith meetings at the largest mosque in majority Muslim countries? Makes no sense at all. That's going against what Jesus said himself, the verse we talked about earlier in this video. Family, this coexists, and like you got people like the Pope calling for all religions to come together and worship. That's a sign of the times we're living in that should really show people we are living in the last seconds of the end times. Family, in the comment section below, I would really love to hear your thoughts on this video. Let me know what you guys think. You know, family, this whole coexist and the fact that Pope Francis is pushing in Indonesia should come as no surprise. This man also pushes the alphabet community and their sick and twisted agenda. He actually said that he would baptize aliens if they came down. He said the life of Jesus ended with the failure of the cross. When the story of the cross and what Jesus did on the cross was the biggest victory of all time. Family, keep on looking up. You know why? Because Bible prophecy declares that we are living in the last days. We are in the final seconds of the last days. I truly believe any day now that trumpet's going to blow. This world is being prepared and set up for the time of Jacob's trouble. The birth pains are off the charts. Everything that Jesus said would be happening prior to his return 
It's going down in this generation, the fig tree generation. Family, keep on looking up. Well, my beautiful channel family, once again, let me say you're awesome and thank you for watching. Guys, I love you. If you can, give this video a thumbs up, share it, and drop a comment. It helps us out so much and we do appreciate it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button and join our channel family. Because here at the Watching Adam News channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated and we pray for this channel on a daily basis. And family, once again... Any prayer requests you have whatsoever, just drop them in the comment section below. And guys, you can follow me on Telegram and TikTok, Watson Adam News. And family, don't forget, if you live outside the United States, you need a Bible, email me at watsonadamnews at yahoo.com. Please include the shipping address. You can email me with questions about our healing and anointing oils or anything else. Guys, just reach out to me. And you see our P.O. box right there. Here in a couple of days, we're going to post our Amazon wish list for our homeless outreach in the Bible ministry. Be looking out for it. As you know, we pass out a lot of bags to the homeless and we send out a lot of free Bibles. And family, for the Bible ministry, we're always needing Bibles and stamps. If anybody wants to help us on that mission, it'd be greatly appreciated. And once again, family, if you want to make a donation to the Watson Adam News Channel or one of our ministries, man, it'd be greatly appreciated. We have ways you could do so. Check your screen right there in the description box below. Any amount is helpful on the mission and greatly appreciated, family. And don't forget to visit the official sponsor of the Watson Adam News Channel, the Rainbow Health Company, where our curate line of healing and anointing oils treat a wide variety of medical symptoms and conditions. Me and my family personally use these products ourselves, and I'm telling you, they have helped me out so much. They're all natural, made with biblical ingredients like frankincense and myrrh. And family, you help us take the fight to be pharmaceutical. And if you use my code WATCHMAN20, you'll save 20%. And family, the people that run the company are amazing brothers and sisters in Christ and personal friends. And these oils are made of all natural ingredients. So visit www.biblehealingoil.com today. I promise you won't be disappointed, guys. You also can check the pinned comment below for a link. Family, go check them out. To Brother Flash and Sister Ronnie, I love you. Thank you for everything. Well, family, that's it for today's video. Continue to keep me and my family in the outreach and the prayers. It would be greatly appreciated. Guys, we're going home soon. Till next time, Brother Watson Adams signing out in 3, 2, 1. Family, I love you. And remember, let's go, Harpazo. Keep on looking up.